Hi guys. Feel me? Good morning guys, what's up? It's your girl Nora. Um, I didn't close out the vlog last night because I ended up, <laughs> so I went home and it was, the curfew was just about to start and the police were in the area. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but most people were not on the streets. So I ended up walking home and then, um, what's his name? The security guard was here, his name is Billy. If you want, if you follow me on Instagram, you already know the deal. Listen, y'all. Let me tell you something. Tonight is tonight, okay? I just met Billy, the security guy in my hotel, and well, he's very sensitive to me. So, given that I'm the only person in the hotel, it's about to go down. He was super nice. Yeah, and then I ended up hang hanging out with him till like. One, two in the morning. And we were just talking like about life, what we wanted to do. We we're talking about relationships. Um, yeah, and I found out that he had a like, girlfriend, so I was kind of disappointed. Yeah, he's a super nice guy, very chill. And then we ended up, he was helping me plan the rest of my week. But he's going to be here this afternoon, I did learn. Um, yeah, and then I, I knocked out, but I didn't sleep as well um, as I did yesterday. I think I just had anxiety, I don't know. Normally when I'm anxious, I don't, um, yeah, I don't really sleep very well. But today is Tuesday, it's like my last full day here. Um, so I'm gonna enjoy it. Yeah, I will talk to you guys later, bye. I bet you taste like peppermint You smell like that pavement Come through my door and be my fire's replacement Your lips I often dream of And I've lost count of the times you've caught me Looking at you, you mm -mm -mm. It used to be me wanting you Visually, mentally But we've gone far past that now We're in a new realm now Just let me Inside out, I promise I won't move about. I want your hands out for me. All right, good morning, everybody. What's up? So, I am actually going on an adventure today. Um, there are these um, really well known cable cars that connect the lower part of Santo Domingo to, to the north. I decided to go on an adventure today and explore the area. In order to get there, you have to take the metro, so I'm going to take the metro now, all the way to, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the, <laughs> these people waving at me. Um, anyway, so I'm going to take the metro, uh, start at Eduardo Brito, and then it connects to the cable car, and then we go all the way up. So that's what I'm doing today, and then I'm gonna come all the way down and then hopefully I can go to the Agora Mall. It's supposed to be a really beautiful mall. They have some really nice food, shopping, all of that. And then I'm gonna go back, but I'm really, really excited um, to go. So let's go in and go for a ride. You got me losing sleep over you. I usually sit still, but now I can help the move when I see you. I don't know what to do, baby, you're making me sweat. All the time, every time your eyes meet mine I come alive, my heart so sighs Why do I crave? Well, that was so easy guys, like literally so easy to find So you actually want to start at that Eduardo Brito station You buy a card, buy a day pass because a day pass is more economical It's only 80 pesos, so like 50 cents if not less and then you follow the signs to um, 
Telerifico, which is all of the cable cars, which are right behind me. And you just pick one to get on and then you ride all the way up. So I'm really excited to um, go on this trip and try it. I hope you guys can hear me. I think you guys can hear me. But um, yeah, and there's not a lot of people too. So you can even have your own cable car, which is exciting. And it just goes all the way up all day, every day. So it's gonna be a situation. I'm so excited. I think I want to go back. I don't think I want to do this anymore. <laughs> like, I'm literally, like, I'm supposed to be going all the way up um, the cable cars. There's like, um, oh shit, oh shit. All right, so I am at the second station, right? So the second station actually goes back. Um, all the way through or whatever um, but so when you get to the second station um, if you want to keep going you have to take another um, cable car here so you have to get off and then get to the next one but I'm gonna check my time because I need to know if I need to go back or not so give me one second I want I kind of want to see how far this takes me but you can take the next cable car over and then you keep going I think there's two more stations and then you can you are able to come back or whatever so all right let's go to the next one i don't want to keep it on the low on my knees when you get home like a tell fire drop i don't want to see it then it's gone you know i'm the type to tell them no hair long baby gold when you guys um i think we're done but that was a fun ride i definitely recommend that you check it out then i'm gonna go head to um zona colonia or whatever so let's go hold it down hold it down if you really need time i will i will i watch it for me if you want to ride we can ride till we see the sun All right, guys, what's up? <laughs> um, change of scenery. So um, I did end up going back to my hotel. I was trying to look for a restaurant, never found it. Anyway, I'm on my next tour. Same guy from yesterday. We are at the Three Eye Cave, Tres Ojos, um, and definitely recommend it to come here and check it out. We're getting our wristbands right now, um, but I'm with a small group of four, we're a group of five. Um, but yeah, this should be very cool, informational. Um, but yeah, definitely something to do if you're gonna be in Santo Domingo. So let's get to it. I bet you taste like peppermint. You smell like that pavement. Come through my door and be my fire's replacement. Your lips I often dream of. 
And I've lost count of the times you've caught me Looking at you, you mm -mm -mm. It used to be me wanting you Visually, mentally But we've gone far past that now We're in a new realm now Just let like me inside out I promise I won't move about I want your hands over me Like my body You got me losing sleep over you I usually sit still but now I can help but move When I see you I don't know what to do Baby you're making me sweat all the time Every time your eyes meet mine I come alive My heart's so upsized Why do I crave your attention? Did I forget to mention that you remind me of the ocean Lifting me out into space Forget the calm, forget the warm I want the pain, bring on the storm What's up guys? Ooh, I hope you guys enjoyed um, Tres Ojos with me um, I'm back in Zona Colonial It's traffic time so there's a lot of people coming through here it's a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, yeah, it was good, but let me tell you about Tres Ojos, right? Um, you can definitely go without a tour, just get get an Uber or taxi. Um, you don't need to catch a tour, you can go to the Tres Ojos, walk around by yourself. I mean, if you want a history um, or an explanation of what the three eyes are, that's fine, but you can really just guide yourself. Um, two. It is not hot, but it is very humid. Um, it has its own ecosystem. So of course, all the moisture is being, that's being, um, that you're getting from the trees. I mean, it's great for your skin. Obviously your pores are loving it, <laughs> but holy shit, I was so, I was literally so hot. Like I was dying. You know what I'm saying? Like. I was dying and I had to stop recording. It was like way too hot, to be honest. Like way too hot. Not hot, but like humid. So I had to fan myself. Thank God for a fan. Yes, if you go to Tres Ojos, another tip for you, bring a fan, because you're gonna be sweating so much. If it wasn't for the fan, like life would have been hard. Um, I mean, it was a good tour. I only paid like $27 for it, which was fine. It wasn't a big deal, Whew. but um, it's been like on and off raining throughout the entire day. I'm actually walking at the plaza where all the tourists are. Um, probably gonna see Ramon. Yep, there he goes, waiting for my ass. To come convince me to do a tour with him. Like, sir, I'm not interested in doing a tour with you. I'm trying to get home. So yeah, I'm trying to rush home because I actually have a call I have a little meeting or whatever so and they're taking attendance so I need to be there that's why I'm trying to hurry up um, it's probably wear my mask because I really don't want to be bothered today oh, and I want to be here oh pretty lady all day every day so it's dinner time um, I made reservations at Maraca and actually, I just decided to extend one more day. I don't know, in my heart, I feel like I need to stay here. I kinda wanna stay here, so I extended one more day. But I do need to go back to Punta Cana because I have, go to Punta Cana because I have reservations. But anyway, I can tell you guys that at dinner. But yeah, so I actually went downstairs to talk about my ex me extending my stay. And then I ended up talking to the hotel owner and he was like, yeah, so what do you have planned for the rest of the week? And I was just like, honestly, I, I don't even know where I'm staying. Like, I have this one excursion to Samana, but then that's it. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I have planned. Um, so we ended up talking for a good 30 minutes and he was just trying, helping me build the itinerary um, that I wanted to do. Um, trying to figure out, okay, is this a good idea? Should I go here? Should I, should I go there? Yeah, so he was just giving me tips and stuff. So, yeah, anyway, um, I think I'm here.
currently at um, Maraca, which is a beautiful restaurant. Like I literally walked in here and I was like, it is so beautiful. Um, oh my god, I'm like speechless, but it's dark in here, so I'm like filming and it's so awkward. But I'm in a little corner, but basically it's a restaurant. It took three years to renovate it, to create this space. It's very artistic, it's beautiful. I mean, head to toe, top to bottom. Every piece is like intricate and um, they have like, they project like the screens. And so it changes every once in a while, whatever. And currently it's um, a night in, in Santo Domingo and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I highly recommend that you come here. Like, so I was even talking to my hotel manager about you know, what he would recommend and he's like, what do you have planned for tonight? And I'm like, I'm going to Maraca. And he's like, oh yeah, definitely Maraca. Like, I haven't heard of one single bad thing and when I read the reviews, they were on point. The food looks so good. It is, you know, kind of like mid to expensive, um, but I mean, duh, like, the best of the best come here, the rich of the rich come here, it is so nice. It's so crazy that I thought that I wasn't going to spend money on food, but every single day I've been going to expensive restaurants. I mean, I know I'm bougie, but sometimes, you know, your girl ain't trying to pay that much, you know? But anyway, I just ordered an appetizer. Um, I ordered short rib tacos, and my waiter was like, yeah, that's an excellent choice. That's really, really good. Si. Taco de chorri? Si. Gracias. And it looks so good now. It's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to eat this. Okay, guys, so I just finished my appetizer. Um, that was actually really good. I was pleasantly surprised. I don't think I was feeling the sauce too much, but it was actually really good. But I also just, uh, but I ordered um, skirt steak with tostones, which is like uh, plantains. Oh, the, the background changed again. It is now a river flowing. It used to be uh, birds in the sky somewhere, but this is so nice. Like, I'll show you guys, but I don't want to be awkward. I'm going to show you anyway because I don't see it. But it looks like this. But yeah, like birds in the sky, which is, I said birds in the sky. We're in a river, which is super nice and beautiful, showing the countryside of the Dominican Republic. Anyway, so, I don't I was gonna explain to you guys something, but I forgot what it was. Um, oh yeah, I was talking to the hotel manager about planning my trip, so tomorrow I'm gonna go to Boca Chica. He also recommended that I go to, could also visit a, a cave, a few caves, and if I wanted to, or like he was giving me a lot of ideas. But he said usually for his guests that are staying in his hotel, he recommends that they don't plan anything, and then he works with them to plan out their day, which I like. Normally, I like to plan everything in advance, but this time, like, I still don't have a place to stay. But I'm glad I talked to him because he actually was like, okay, if you really want like the local life. So I could definitely give you that. You can go to Punta Cana and be... Oh, gracias. Yeah, you mean. Will do. Um, you can go to Punta Cana and, you know, do all that. And do, like, the normal tourist stuff. But I'm not going to do that. I think that's boring. I don't want to be at a resort. I don't want to be drinking. I don't want to be doing all that. I want to live, like, a good local life. Get some education. Get some learnings and all that. But anyway, my meal just came. It's a churrasco and then the tostones, so, which I'm excited to eat. Um, but so far, so good. Everything's good. And um, yeah. Goes ready and not better on my own. Too many times you turn a blind eye to the way I feel. Oh, you're the reason why I'm now. Okay, guys. So I never closed, <laughs> I haven't been closing my vlogs lately, but yeah, um, I'm back at the hotel now. Um, I had to work on a quick presentation for work tomorrow, I'm actually presenting. Um, and yeah, I'm chilling. Um, yeah, I really like it here. I don't know why, I don't know how, 
but I really like Santo Domingo. I really like this area. I'm just feeling the vibes, y'all, and I'm really, shout out to y'all. Who voted for the hotel? The best choice ever. I feel like I would not have had as much fun if I stayed in Airbnb. This is like, I love this hotel. Everybody's super nice and helpful and yeah, I'm definitely, I would highly recommend it and I'm definitely coming back. Like staying, not even this hotel, like staying in Zona Colonial makes me want to come back to, per I was about to say Puerto Rico, Santo Domingo, but um, yeah, I 100% want to come back and yeah, I'm excited to just enjoy my last night tomorrow. I'm actually so sad, like I feel so emotional because I really love it here. So anyway, not to talk very long, but I'm gonna say goodbye for now and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I don't know if I'm officially like ending the vlog vlog here, but good night y'all, bye. In 200 meters, your destination will be on the right.